So this uh, text by Jaspers reminds me a story from the first year of my uh, BA undergraduate studies in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in 1979. We were uh, then in a logic lesson studying some kind of uh, logic uh, law, I don't, don't remember which, and then one of the students burst out and said very excitedly, but why, why are we studying all this? How does all this help us to touch other people or touch our th ourselves? And there was silence in class and the teacher did not know what to reply. And uh, then one of the students turned to her and said, um, you want to touch people, darling? Go and study boxing. Now, I think that this story uh, um, uh, already shows us two ways of treating the study of philosophy. One of them treats philosophy um, as we would treat perhaps linguistics or archaeology. We study philosophy because we are interested, we want to know more, we're curious about it, and I think this is perfectly legitimate. And the other way is also perfectly legitimate, and this is the way of touching. And the question uh, I think is what is meant by touching, and uh, Jaspers here helps us. Because I think that in this uh, text that we're now reading, we have a hint of what would touching mean. And to touch, tells us Jaspers, is to de-forget or unforget. We have a strange tendency to forget the important things in our lives, what is really meaningful to us. And it is a very strange thing that, uh, that we forget what is so important. And Jaspers tells us that what we should try to do is try to unforget. I found also in my life that I very easily return to some kind of an automatic mode. And I just do things and forget the most important things in my life. And this text reminds me also to go again to philosophy and to try to use it to remember those things that I know are important, but still so strangely keep forgetting.